Hi, my name is Marek and today I'd like to show you what's inside this big black box called Skytier Horde. Uh, this is a game published by Skytier Games and thanks for sending it for review. And uh, Skytier Horde is a cooperative fantasy uh, card game in which you play different factions and you try to save your kingdom from hordes of enemies and from outsiders, uh, big bosses. It reminds me a little of Eon's End, but this is like a, not a deck building game. You rather start uh, the game with your deck and during the game you have less and less cards. When your deck runs out of cards, you lose the game and you have to defeat the final boss. This big box here is Sky Tier Horde. This is the deluxe edition of the game that contains the base game and contains the Monolith uh, standalone expansion. Because uh, you may not know, uh, Sky Tier Horde uh, had the base game, then there was a Monolith expansion, a standalone expansion that you can play separately or you can combine it with the Sky Tier Horde base game. And currently there is a crowdfunding campaign for the latest expansion called uh, Sky Tier Horde Campaigns. And this is also a standalone expansion that can be played separately or mixed with previous content. The, uh, the new, the, the latest expansion introduces some campaign elements to this game where you can play a few games connected together uh, not a uh, you know, separate game but uh, small campaigns. Uh, today I want to show you what's inside because this is the deluxe edition that contains some um, nice acrylic tokens and a neoprene playmat, a lot a lot of cards. Uh, I will make another video where I will tell you uh, how the game plays and what I think about this game. Today we will just do the unboxing so let me show you what's inside. So let me show you what's inside this huge black box. I have already opened it before to sort everything and to separate all the cards because I didn't want to do it on the camera. The cover art is nice, like a gray on black uh, castle and armies fighting together. Um, when you open this box, the first thing you will see is an unboxing guide. It's okay to you know find out what's new and what's inside this box, but they have much better guide on their website, Skytier uh, Horde website. Uh, it's four pages long, a PDF. It tells you exactly how to separate all the cards, where to place them. So go to their website and use uh, the guide from there and not specifically this one, because this one is, well, it doesn't tell you how to store all the cards and how to sort all the cards uh, in a proper way. And this is the rule book, uh, Sky Tier Horde Monolith. Uh, it's contains the rules from the base game and from this uh, Monolith expansion. 24 pages, but this game is not that complex in terms of rules, so uh, cool. Here is an ad for the Sky Tier Horde campaigns. Uh, the, you can say, third standalone box for Sky Tier because we had base game. Then we had uh, Monolith, uh, this box here, and campaigns is the current crowdfunding expansion for Sky Tier Horde, a standalone one, just like Monoliths, uh, but of course it can be combined with all the previous content. Uh, here we have some tokens, standard cardboard tokens. There are much better tokens uh, inside in this box, acrylic tokens, but they added the you know regular retail tokens as well for you. Mm. What's here? Uh, when you open this box, you have cards, you have playmat and you have a storage for sleeved cards and for some tokens. Let me show you the playmat first. It's really, really nice. Uh, the deluxe edition of Sky Tier Horde uh, contains a, a playmat. Normally when you have the retail edition, you don't get any board or playmat. You just use this uh, cardboard like um, tokens here. But with the deluxe edition, there is this cool playmat uh, made from neoprene. It's stitched looks really nice and helps to organize uh, the, you know, the play area. I really like no print play mats. <laughs> now we have a box uh, full of uh, acrylic tokens. I have already sorted them. Uh, here we have tokens uh, from the base game and from the uh, expansion. The white tokens are from the Monolith expansion. The other tokens are from the base game for health, for some additional effects. It's really cool that they added this uh, storage box that you can just, you know, take out from the game box, place on the table. You don't need any separate, you know, bowls or ways to place the tokens on your table. 
after you finish playing you can just you know close the lead and put it back in the base game really really nice mm, and what's the remaining things here are all the cards uh, the cards in this box uh, are uh, cards from the sky tier horde base game with all the expansions and from sky tier horde monolith with all the additional expansions because uh, there are some retail editions, some additional expansions with more hordes and player cards, player factions. This is everything what was released until now. As I said earlier, there is this campaign, standalone expansion currently on GameFound with even more content, but this is everything that was released earlier. So I have already sorted everything. Uh, what's included in this edition are these cool dividers that, uh, you know, help you to uh, organize everything as you can see all the player cards or the horde cards and so uh, I will show you some of the cards that maybe all of them I'm not sure if you have played sky tier horde before or not uh, so I will try to show you some older cards and some new cards basically this is an example of a player deck uh, in blue there are four different factions blue green uh, red and yellow Mm, this is a blue deck and there are here are all the uh, player cards mm, in this game this deck is also kind of yeah, like your life points when you are out of cards in your uh, player deck you lose the game mm, so you don't build this deck or you don't gain cards during the game you rather remove cards from your deck and try to win before this deck runs out of cards uh, the artwork is really cool. I really like the artwork in, in Sky Tier Horde. Uh, but as I said, this is one of the uh, decks from the uh, base game. It's called uh, Lyotan Shapeshifters. Uh, let me show you maybe another one. Uh, two lot followers, a green one. Um, as I said again, really cool artwork. Um, each deck plays uh, differently. Each faction has got some, you know... Uh, weak points and strong points so it's uh, cool some of them some of the factions are more advanced and they're recommended for more advanced players mm, cool as you can see the art is really great and this is the last faction from the uh, season one you can say year one Napton illusionist this was, uh, I think, an additional expansion. It's not included in the retail edition of Sky Tier Horde the base game. It was on, it's available as an add-on or it was available on the Kickstarter, on GameFound as well. So this is the yellow faction. Uh, and here are all the decks from the base game. Now let's go to Monolith expansion. And this is the first deck from the Monolith expansion. Lyotan Enforcers, I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Here you can see it says Monolith, so this is from the uh, latest standalone expansion. Again, new cards, new artwork. It's such a great game, I, I think that it's not as popular as it should be, <laughs> because a lot of people know about Eon's End and they play Eon's End as a like, you know, cooperative boss battler, but I think Sky Tier of Horses uh, just as good, if not even better than Eons and you have a lot of variety here, a lot of player decks, a lot of different uh, enemy decks and bosses that you will see in a second. Um, okay, this one is called uh, Tulot Custodians, uh, the second new deck from Monoliths. Uh, let me show you some of the cards. I will not explain to you how to play this game and what uh, are the cards doing, because as I said earlier, I will make another video with a, a rules overview and my opinion on this game. Uh, for now, I just wanted to show you what's inside this box and uh, how the game looks like, what's the content of uh, the Deluxe Edition box. Uh, okay, the first faction, uh, Kurumo Artif Ar Artificers, okay, uh, new faction, cool, and the last a fourth faction from Monolith, the yellow one called, let me show you, Napton Diviners. Okay, so together with Monolith and base game, you have eight different player decks. Uh, really nice. You can play this game solo, you can play this game cooperatively. You can even play 
uh, a free player game where two players uh, play together against the um, horde played by a third player. Here are the castles that you need to kind of um, de defend from the horde and from the enemies. Different castles from different factions. Uh, some, these are the castles from the base game, I think. And here are the castles from the Monolith expansion. You have four different castles for uh, each uh, faction. And okay, now we have uh, portals. The portals in this expansion work differently than in the base game. If you haven't played Hide Your Horde, it doesn't matter for you if you've played the base game. Uh, here we have new portals that uh, replace the old portals in this game. Uh, they say like solo, cooperative, competitive two players and competitive three players. So different um, options to play this game and different portals. They are double sided. Uh, now we have some minions and some you know, divided minions and tokens, tokens for the enemies for the uh, for the horde you have troop cards you have roots cards you have brute cards and you have skeleton tokens skeletons were available in the base game and the remaining uh, cards are from the monolith expansion also the four minion cards are new they are a little different than the expansions than the minions from the base game and now let's go to horde to enemy decks first we have renegade deck from the sky tier horde base game a lot of cool artwork a lot of cool cards this includes the uh, how was it called the additional expansion that uh, lets you let me check how it's called challenge expansion okay this also includes cards from the challenge and challenge expansion that allows you to play the uh, base game horde uh, with the new difficulty, it uh, sounds complex, but basically renegades one of the factions, enemy factions from the uh, base game. Uh, am I right here? Yeah. Now we have the undead faction again, undead horde from the base game. Uh, I know that if you haven't played this game, the cards will not tell you a lot but you will get an idea how much content you have in this box and how many cards are here so here are undead enemies and predator they are like uh, dinosaurs really nice a lot of different cards a lot of different there are some rules changes in the monolith expansion uh, and they you know and uh, they suggest to play with the new rules, doesn't matter if you play uh, factions and uh, horse from the base game or from the expansion, you should use the new rules. I'm not exactly sure what are the changes, I haven't read the rulebook yet. Mm, Nightmare Horde. Okay, so this is the fourth horde from the base game. Again, cool monsters, cool cars, cool enemies. Now let's go to the first uh, enemy faction from the expansion and of course these are the monoliths. So here are the monoliths. Okay. Strange faction. Plated uh, monoliths. Okay. Willing monoliths. Okay. Cool. Cool. So this is the first faction from the expansion. Now we have uh, Thinklings. Second new uh, Second new horde deck. Okay, like a sea monsters. Such a cool artwork in this game. Uh, there are some duplicates in this decks because uh, different cars they have different difficulty levels, and depending on your chosen difficulty level, you will use some of the cards and some don't, some not. So don't worry that there are many copies of the same cards. You will not use all the cards at the same time. Okay, so uh, Slitherers, okay, the third new faction, cool, cool, cool. So much, uh, so much content, uh, huge replayability in this game. Uh, the last faction, uh, the Brute from this expansion, you have eight horde decks, eight player decks, uh, different bosses that you can choose. 
Mm, a lot, a lot of you know, fun and, and gameplay. Okay, some of the cards here. So this is the um, fourth horde deck, and now we have outsiders. And outsiders are the bosses. Here are all the bosses from the base game, from this expansion. There are three types of bosses. Here are some of the new bosses that you have seen. They have the symbol like this. Uh, so this is just you know one card different bosses here are like bosses that use multiple cards like three cards are for the same you know same boss different type of enemies really nice mm. okay cool and here are the bosses uh, oh here are the bosses from the base game the old bosses from sky tier horde and here are all the new uh, outsiders <laughs> and when you play the game you choose a player deck you choose a horde deck and you choose an outsider so there are many many different combinations and ways to you know, play this game and what else here we have mixed horde deck these are some remaining cards from the first game the uh, unboxing guide tells you how to create this deck this is basically a mix from uh, all the hordes from the first sky tier horde and you can use this deck to play like a you know, horde that contains four other hordes. And that's basically it. This is the contents of Sky Tier Horde. Many, many cards, a lot of cards. Uh, as I said earlier, expect another, another video where I will tell you how to play this game. I will tell you what I think about this game. I can already tell you it's a great game, but I will go into details in the, in the second video. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, visit the Sky Tier Horde uh, campaigns expansion on GameFound. Link will be found in the description of this video. Visit me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I will leave links as well in the description. Um, click the like button, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.